This is a video presentation of an anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction performed by Associate Professor Alan Duras. The operation commences with an incision over the pes anserinus, exposing the distal insertions of the hamstring muscles. Once the semitendinosus tendon has been identified, pain management is administered and a tendon harvester used to liberate the tendon from the musculotendinous junction of the muscle. The tendon is then cleaned of any excess muscle before it is removed from its distal insertion and it is then taken over to a graft preparation station where it is measured and attached to fixation devices which will be used later in the operation. In this example, the surgeon threads a single strand tendon cleverly between two Arthrex tightrope devices is selection and type of construct minimizes trauma to the patient and maximizes the use of the single tendon harvest. Once prepared, the construct is measured for length and diameter. And kept in a safe location while the rest of the operation proceeds. Under arthroscopy, the ACL can be identified as detached from regular femoral insertion point. This insertion point is then cleaned before a drill guide is positioned and checked under x-ray. Once in position and carefully managed, surgeon proceeds to drill the device at the end of the drill is known as a flip cutter where a smaller diameter drill enters into the joint space and a cutter is flipped on the inside before drilling backwards larger diameter on the way out from the joint space. A nitinol wire is passed into the tunnel created and similarly on the tibial side a second tunnel is drilled into the joint space. vision can be seen, drill guides are removed, and passing sutures can be introduced. This shot shows the anteromedial portal having both a superior suture passer and an inferior suture passer heading in a different direction. 
positions the suture passes are used to guide the graft which was prepared earlier into the newly created tunnels in this example the femoral component of the fixation is passed followed by the graft construct and once in position the tibial end of the graft is shuttled into place and once tension can be confirmed via arthroscopy a further check on x-ray is examined confirms fixation in the appropriate location.